Audrey. And hi there, come on down, there's plenty of room. <laughs> Excellent, today is, I love the topic today. Today we are discussing listening. So I have an activity and I invite all of you to participate, it's rather fun. Um, I'm going to tell a story and as, as many times as you hear, Sam, whenever you hear the word Samuel, I'd like you to try to raise your hand, okay? So whenever you hear the word Samuel, raise your hand, okay? I'm gonna, we're just gonna do a quick test run, okay? Everybody ready? Hands at the ready? <laughs> ready? Samuel. Huh. Good, okay. Uh, Pastor Michael. Pastor Don. Samuel. Samson. Aha, some of you. <laughs> Okay, very good. So when you guys are doing a really good job up here. Good job. So I'm going to start this story, and every time you hear Samuel, raise that hand. Hey, good job. <laughs> okay. Samuel was a young person who loved God and did what God asked. Samuel lived at the temple with Eli, the minister. One night while sleeping, <laughs> Samuel heard a voice calling his name. Good job. He ran to Eli and said, here I am. Eli was very sleepy. He yawned and said, I didn't call you. Go back to sleep. Then Samuel heard a voice calling his name again. <laughs> he ran to Eli and said, here I am. Eli was still very sleepy. He yawned and said, I didn't call you. Go back to sleep. For the first time, Samuel heard his name. He ran to Eli and said, here I am. This time, Eli realized that God, wasn't trying to speak to that God was trying to speak to Samuel. Eli told him to say, speak, God, I'm listening. One more time, Samuel heard a voice calling his name, and he said, speak, God, I am listening. And God told Samuel, there it is, good job, many important things. Samuel listened to the Lord that night and for the rest of his life. Very good. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Got caught a couple, caught a couple of you, but we did a good job. And thank you guys. So tell me, was it really, really easy to follow that whole time? Was it easy to to understand when I was going to say Samuel and raise your hand? It got harder at a certain time, didn't it? Did it get harder when I was quiet? Did it? Did it get harder when I spoke really, really fast? Mm hmm. Well, that's a lot like real life. In real life. We can't hear God talking to us because we are, it's hard to hear him. Maybe we have a lot of other things going on and other things that are just louder at the moment, right? Well, we're going to pray to God that he helps us listen and focus to what he's telling us, just like Samuel. He had a lot of things to tell Samuel, and because he was listening, he could finally hear God, okay? So will you all pray with me? Just repeat after me nice and loud. We'll fold our hands and bow our heads and repeat after me. Dear God, Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for talking to us. Help us focus on listening to you, even when it's difficult. Amen. Thank you guys for